Just a look at Bayern Munich over the last 10 seasons. Last season they won their 10th straight Bundesliga title, which is a feat never before achieved in one of Europe's top five leagues. Some think that the gap is continuing to get wider between Bayern and the rest of the teams in the Bundesliga, which means there is less and less competition, if that is the way you think about it. Uli Hoeneß certainly does. Former Bayern Munich president said, I used to be against breaking the 50 plus one rule, but now the Italians and the English are pulling away from us. If we want to be at the top of Europe, we have to change 50 plus one. The rule can be abolished. On the one hand, we want to win the Champions League. On the other hand, we want to stick to 50 plus one. You can't have it both ways. Investors and sustainability don't exclude each other. Let's take a look at Liverpool. The club is owned by an American, but you still get goosebumps every time they sing You'll Never Walk Alone. That doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. So the 50 plus one rule limits any single investor to owning a maximum of 49% of a club. It's to protect the Bundesliga in their eyes. But Jan, let's talk about this and what we've just heard here from the former Bayern, uh, Bayern president, who's wanting to make the Bundesliga more competitive. And he thinks that if rich investors can come in at the surrounding clubs, that will be the case. They can challenge Bayern financially. Yeah, I think there are two ways, as Uli Hoeneß is seeing this, but because he's calm that Bayern will win it for ages because they still got more money than the rest of them. But he also see the problem with Bayern Munich they can't compete with the other teams in Europe. And also that the, uh, the Bundesliga got to be more competitive so that the other teams get better. But all the others will always look at Bayern. And the reason he would have been against to abolish the 50 plus one is because it's fitted Bayern. But he sees now, of course, that this can't go on forever. They can still make it. They can still get the best players from Germany into the Bayern team. They can get Mane, but, but coming two, three, four years down, down, down the road, there is no chance that they can compete because they can't attract the best players in the world. Their academy is not good enough. And for the people to understand this 50 plus one rule is that the 50 plus one of the share, so to say, is staying by the members. And uh, there are some great assemblies when Bayern Munich are having their assemblies with these 50 plus one members. And they, it's, it's unbelievable. It's more entertaining sometimes than seeing the Bundesliga. So Uli Hoeneß is for the first time in his life, he looks like that he's thinking of other teams than Bayern. But mind you, he's thinking of Bayern again because he wants Bayern to win the Champions League. Then they need more money and he would probably attract the most money um, because a normal investor outside a 50 plus one rule in Germany can be a, a company like Allianz or Adidas or BMW. But now he wants to open for investors like, like in England and in some other countries. So let me ask you this, Jan. Do you agree with what Oli Hannes is saying here? It, it's a, <laughs> this is a big question uh, that you're asking me, Kay, because... Uh, you can see in Spain that model when you got some kind of president coming in, spending all the money for three, four years and then you go, go away. Uh, or in England, you have all kind of owners coming into to a club and taking away a lot of identity and so on and so on. So I think that I'm a bit b both ways for German because there's a lot of things that is very good to German football. It's run by the fans, it's run by the members. And if you ask a common uh, German fans, it's not like in Newcastle where they will wear uh, the costumes uh, of their Arab owners. The, the, they, these will de demonstrate. If someone came in and said to Bayern, we have this big tycoon, he wants to give you a billion euros to, to invest in your team, they won't celebrate in the streets of Munich. They will demonstrate. So this is a, a, like a, a, a difference in the, in the fan culture that is um, that you have to respect when when you change this kind of thing. So I I see that there could be a, a kind of change that maybe they they will do a, a, a higher number of investors possible. But I can't see that this uh, English kind of thing that kills the football pyramid uh, will come into German football. What if it was a smaller club like? Eintracht Frankfurt, for example, Jan, would they still be demonstrating against it? Yes, they would absolutely do that. And if you see, uh, there is a good example of that, Hoffenheim. Uh, there is a good example and a bad example, because Dietmar Hopp, who is the owner, he is a big fan of the club since he was a kid, and he is invested in that club. 
using his company to get him to be one of the best uh, German clubs. Same with, with RB Leipzig and so on, but they're very, very unpopular uh, in Germany. There's always controversy ar around their ownership. So yes, it's a small club, even a small club got that money, they would still demonstrate because they want the ownership of their club uh, as it is. And it's a good example of Eintracht Frankfurt winning the Europa League, now playing Real Madrid in the Super Cup. And they have done it through uh, sustainability, to kind of a business plan to get them into to the top of, of football. So, yes, the, the Frankfurt fans would do exactly the same. The strangest thing for, for me is who's talking about this is Uli Hoeneß. And it can only be that he knows that nothing's going to change. And he's trying to make it look good, or he's trying to he's trying to stick up for the man in the street, because this absolutely would hurt Bayern Munich. It's perfect for Bayern Munich, and it's only two years ago that Bayern Munich were European champions. So this, the way it is now, suits Bayern Munich down to the ground. They've continually got the best the best talent from other German teams, and they've gone out and and this year they've got money. So I don't understand why Uli Hoeneß is coming out of this. Because if it was to go the other way, it would destroy exactly what Bayern is all about and the way they've gone about it for, for as long as I can remember. It makes no sense. And for me, I'm always on the fan side. You know, where in a way, you know, it's affordable to go to a, to a German stadium, and uh, and uh, it's why it's packed every every days of the of the Bundesliga. And uh, we, we saw investors. We saw investors in France, in England, and in Spain. And we saw that m most of clubs are in debt because chairmen do whatever they want. So it's nice to have maybe one country who are, can socialize a little bit and also make sure that the finances are in a good side and in a good, uh, in a good, uh, in a good shape. So I'm completely for that rule plus uh, that 50 rule plus one, and I think this should uh, stand like that. And uh, yes, it's sad to see that there is no competition with Bayern Munich. I agree with Stevie. I think Ilionas is very pleased with that. Mm. But it's due to the other to find a way to uh, become more competitive. And I think players are happy to play. And I think if you love football, you will go to Dortmund, you will go to Leipzig to uh, to to play uh, games in front of a full crowd, and also to try to 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 beat Bayern Munich and to be competitive in. Uh, in the Champions League. Money doesn't talk for everybody and in Germany it's, uh, it's a good example. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN+.